Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Welding. Some of my long-term viewers may remember my plasma cutter from the other year. If you're new to the channel and haven't seen it, there's a link in the description and there'll also be a link in the end screen. Before we get into the review, if you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click the little bell icon to be notified of our future videos. So let's start off this review by showing the machine and the cheap Harbor Freight cart I have it on. This machine uses a PT31 style torch and has a pretty good ground as well. The ground has a copper strip inside of it so it will ground better. It isn't like one of those cheap ones you find on some of the other machines. And it has really held up well despite how much I've used it. Some of the things I've learned about this machine uh, in the time I've used it is despite the machine's size and price, it punches way above its weight. Uh, you can cut up to half inch and something I learned is you can actually gouge with it and I will be doing a video on that in the future. I hope you all look forward to it. Some of the things I like about this machine is it was a cheap machine to get started with. You can see it on Amazon for between $230 and $250 and can sometimes find it cheaper than that. If you want to check it out, I have a link in the description to it. I did get some accessories and consumables to go with this machine. First thing I got was a bulk pack of consumables. Comes with everything for the PT31 style torch this machine uses and should last a long time. I also got a circle cutter to cut circles out with this machine. It's simple to use. You just put the torch right there in the end and tighten that little screw down and it pivots on this peg here that you put a dimple into the piece of metal you're going to cut. And it'll cut out a perfect circle. Next item I got is this 220 volt pigtail. Uh, it turns from the uh, three pin style plug here that you see there to the four pin style there like on my Lincoln Ranger 225 and we'll, I'll be making a video of how it runs off the welder in a future video. If, uh, if you want to see that, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, that way you'll be notified of our future videos and you'll see uh, the review of the circle cutter and that when I make the video. And if y'all want to pick up any of these items, there will be links in the description uh, to where you can find them on Amazon. But yeah, overall this machine just really surprised me. It really handles a lot more than you think it would for a machine of this price and its size. Uh, I've used it on a lot of different projects from making a couple trailers to uh, gouging out some welds and fixing that other people have done wrong on other projects. And we did a, also did a bucket on a backhoe that was done improperly. We gouged out with this machine and then went back behind with some 7018 to fill it in. And then we put a uh, plate over top of it to add some strength to it. So overall, if you're needing a cheap, inexpensive plasma cutter or just want to get into get, using plasma cutters, this is a machine for you. So until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click that little bell icon to be notified of our future videos. And don't forget, keep on welding, folks.